So hello everyone, welcome to Tesla Technologies Private Limited. My name is Saram Mishra and today in this video we are going to discuss about Material Handling Process Module. Its order code is 2223 point three point one five n So in this video we are going to discuss about its components and its working. So firstly we will discuss about the components of this Material Handling Process Module. Starting from the main kit, you can see there is a uh, main switch, main supply has been given and for that a power LED has been given for the indication. Start and stop button for the power supply is provided. Okay, then on the right side you can see the emergency switch has been provided for us. Then uh, the ports for the valves, wall 1, 2 and 3 has been provided. Then motor and for photo sensors and their common ports has been given. Then after that you can see this is the bin in which we can insert the blocks. These are the air cylinders, cylinder 1 is fitted at the back side, then this one is the cylinder 2. These all three are the single solenoid valves, okay. Then this is the conveyor belt and photo sensors have been fitted parallelly to it. Moving to the world to the left, you can see at the back side there is a filter regulator and a lubricator. A motor has been fitted over there and two storage boxes for the blocks. Is being given. This is the complete uh, components of material handling process module. So now we will start the connection for the material handling process module with this DLC trainer kit. Okay, so we will use uh, as an intermediator. So we have programmed the software in this as I have already told you in the software part. Okay, so first of all you have to insert all these blocks, black and white blocks, in this bin. Then I'll uh, let you know the connections. For this module, so let's start the connection. So first of all, take the patch codes and connect X0 with this red switch. Okay. Next, you have to connect X1 with this green switch. Okay. After that. Take a patch code and connect X2 with the photo sensor 1. Connect this X2 with this photo sensor 1. Next, we have to connect X3 port with the photo sensor 2. Connect this X3 port with this photo sensor 2. After that, connect Y0 port with the motor. This Y0 port in the digital output with the motor. Next, you have to connect Y1 port with this indicator. Y1 port with this indicator. Just connect it. Now take another pass port and connect Y1. With this Y2 port, valve 2 with this Y3 port, and valve 3 with this Y4 port. Okay, and at last connect this common port. With this common port. So we have to connect this material handling process module with this delta PLC trainer. Okay. Now we have to connect the compressor with the AFR port at the back side of this material handling process module. Just connect it. Okay. Always check that the connection should be proper. And at last, you have to connect this PS5 cable with the Delta PLC trainer. Okay. Now, switch on both this material handling process module and this PLC trainer. Now after switching on the PLC, data PLC trainer, you have to upload the program from the ISC software. 
to the delta P L, which we have given you. So for this, you have to maintain the pressure. Supposedly, I have taken. You have to start the compressor and maintain the pressure. Okay. So we have to regulate the pressure. I have taken it one. On here, by point nine, for the proper functioning, so that the pressure should not be more. So now we will deal with the software part. So first of all, you have to open this com manager. After that, click on add. Then click on auto detect, and click on OK. Now detecting is successful. You can see on the screen. Click on OK, and again click on OK. After that, you can see the description of driver one. Okay. Select it. Just double click on it and click on OK. After that, minimize it. And next, open the software ISP. It will take a few seconds. Then just click on the tools and open the communication settings. After that, click select your driver and click on OK. After that, click on file option and then open. You can select the file, the PLC trainer delta, the program, material handling conveyor belt, and just click on open. So you can see. the ladder diagram then click on compile after that you can see that there are zero errors and zero warnings now click on plc transfer and just upload the program and then click on run So we have done all the connections. You must ensure that after loading the program in the Delta PLC trainer, it it must be on the run mode. Otherwise, it will not work. Okay. So after this, you have to click on Start button. Okay. And after clicking on Start button, you have to click on this red switch. So it will start working. Uh, the second cylinder has sent this block. Now the photo sensor will detect that is in black and white. Black will be connected in this storage uh, box, and white will be connected at this storage box. You have seen the black one. Now in the other cycle, you will see for the white one. So white block has been selected. Now select it will send it to the conveyor belt, and after that a delay, it will send. Since it is white, it will be shown in the other box, and this cycle will be continued according to the program. So this is the complete demonstration of this product from my side. If you have any query, you can contact at Tesla Global website. For other information related to this product, you can refer to the manual. And information related to other products are given in the links given in the description. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, just like, share, and subscribe to our channel.